May you be snatched away from this place. You shall no more dare to deceive, persecute, and torment. As smoke is driven away, as wax melts before the fire, so shall you be driven away, unclean spirit. Help. Silence! Now answer true. Are you demon, man, or woman? I'm a man. Demon! Your power over his mind is waning. Release him now! Release him before I am forced to destroy you! Remember! You are human! Remember! Tell us, before the demon regains control, your name. Tell us your name! You hear that, evil spirit? He knows himself. He is yours no longer. Now your past. Tell me something about your past. Your profession! Quick! Yes! He's beginning to remember. Sworn to protect the innocent from those who would do them harm. Inside you is a spirit who will destroy many unless you stop it. Do your duty. One last time. Fight it! Remember who you are! Remember! Staten Island, Club Ternos, one year ago. All right, this is the place. Just one thing before we get going. I want you to take point. You think you're ready? Really? You sure Honestly, about this? I'm not. I know this looks routine, just a bunch of goth kids getting high and causing trouble, but something doesn't smell right. And by that, I mean the uniform who called it in. According to dispatch, it was Franco Moreno. Marina Rito? I'm as surprised as you are. Just do your job. Get statements, talk to Moreno about what happened. After that, we'll see if there's anything worth talking about. Well, after you, partner. Sorry, club's closed for now. You want in, you'll have to wait. See that line around the block? They all want to go in. If you're with the cops, then show me some proof of something. <sighs> it's your show, partner. Do what you gotta do. Looks legit. About time you guys showed up. The natives here are getting a bit restless. You want to talk to Mrs. Thoris? She's inside. Thanks, I just Yeah, sure. That. The boss and that cop are in there already. He saved the day, as far as I know. Okay, I'm going in. Okay, but I don't see why they need anyone else. No offense or nothing, but that cop was like Bruce Lee or something. Bruce Lee, huh? Whatever. Just do what you gotta do so we can reopen, and give that cop in there a raise, will you? He was a damn hero. Are you two the police detectives? That's us. Good. I'm Alana Loris. I own this place. Officer Marino's in the back room, along with the three idiots who started this mess. Sure, I can tell you. It was something else. Anyway, here's what happened. These three kids pulled out knives. These long silver switchblade things. I swear to God, I thought it was going to be a bloodbath. But then, then that Officer Marino stormed in. I swear, it was like something out of a Bruce Lee movie. Bruce Lee, huh? The guy outside said the same thing. Well, it's true. He fought them all. All three of them. Disarmed them and put them all in cuffs. Then he dragged them all to the back room. But some of sorry. I know. Nothing like this has ever happened here before. Those kids, they're regulars here. They come here and get wild, but they're good kids. They always are. I can't imagine why they do something like this. Anyway, they're in the VIP room back there. I guess we need a statement from all of them. I'll be here if you need me. Hey, you good to fly solo? I want to talk to the owner for a bit longer. 
No bro, Ricky, I'm on it. Thanks. When this is done, first round's on me. Look, I know I'm being a bit unorthodox, but trust me, okay? You're doing great. Sir? Officer Marina, are you alright? I'm fine, Detective. Never better. I guess you want to know what happened? I was doing my rounds, I was just passing by, and I heard screams from inside. I ran in, I found these three armed with knives and prepared to attack innocent civilians. So I disarmed them and cuffed them. You did that all by yourself? Yeah, all by myself. Ask around, get everyone's statements, they'll back me up. Hmm. I don't know what came over me. I don't do stuff like this. But that cop stopped us. It was... it was like a Bruce Lee movie. It was like... something out of a Bruce Lee movie. Wait, who's Bruce Lee? We couldn't fight him. He was... like Bruce Lee or something. Hey, was I interrupting anything? Yeah, suspects. So, Marino... You got a pretty good caller here. Three of them, in fact. Thank you, ma'am. I'm just curious about one thing. These three are all restrained. Police issue cuffs, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Funny thing. The standard officer's kit only has two pairs of handcuffs. So, I just gotta know. Where'd the third pair come from? I'd like to know that, too. See that, Franco? You got us both so puzzled. You got an answer for us? Yeah, I, uh, took an extra. That was lucky. You didn't need three cuffs when you took down that mugger yesterday. Just the one. Or what about those two deli robbers the day before that? You only needed two cuffs then. But today, you take down three bad guys, and you just happen to have three pairs of cuffs. Wow, you're a regular super cup, Marino. I am just doing my job. Your job? Right. All the suspects in all those crimes. They all had perfect records before you arrested them. And speaking of records, what about yours? You've had an unremarkable career up until this week. Care to explain this sudden shift in direction? I've... I've been reading. Reading? What, like, self-help or something? Or something. I did a great job here, Detective Santina. It was like something out of a Bruce Lee movie. You should recommend me for a promotion. Yeah, yeah, good job, Marino. Never knew you were such a badass. I'll... I'll just go call this in. What the Funny hell? Funny you should say that. I often wondered if this book came from hell. But I don't even care anymore. For ten years I've been the bottom of the totem pole, the butt of everyone's jokes. I tried to get ahead, really, I tried. But... Nobody ever gave me a damn chance. Maybe if you gave the gym a chance. Shut the hell up. You think this is a joke? Let's see how much you laugh when I'm done with you. Drop the book now. Fuck. Okay, okay. Look, I'll kick it over to you. Just put the gun down. Take it. Just take it. I don't even know what I'm doing with that thing. Look, I, I had no choice, you understand? I've been stuck in this uniform for ten years. Ten years! I can't take it anymore! Then I found that book. Well, what would you do? Fuck! Dude, what the hell? Damn it, do something! She's totally dazed. She's not saying a word. What the hell is going on? What about the kids? Are the kids okay? Your chosen vessel remembers. You are no longer welcome, wicked spirit. The hands you control will no longer do your bidding. In the name of myself, my witness, and the soul whom you hold captive, I cast you out! Gotcha! Ah! Eli!
stand back! Jeez, Mandy, put that sword away. The spirit is gone. That guy's harmless. That's me, totally harmless. Now, who are you people? See? He doesn't even remember us. It looks like his memory got scrambled during the exorcism. Scrambled? What? It happens. I apologize for the threat. It has been a long night. Please, come with us, and we will explain everything. Fine, right. Behind Thank you. you. Gratitude, at least. This way, please. Look, she's a... We've had a rough night. Go easy on us, okay? Just come on downstairs. When you're ready, we'll explain everything. We're the good guys. Honest. Do take your time. Soak it all in. So, how is that memory of yours? Anything spring to mind? No, I don't remember anything. A small mercy, perhaps. For you, at least. These innocents, innocents of the city who I have sworn to protect, were destroyed by your hands. I couldn't do this. I'm afraid you could, and, uh, you did. You were possessed by some kind of demon. It made you do things. You do not remember? One year ago, you slaughtered those police officers and those teenagers. I thought that was just a dream. No dream, but it was a nightmare for some. The story was top news for weeks. Every district in the city was searching for you. As were we, and it is fortunate that we found you first. These people on the floor, torn apart using your bare hands. The rain washed away most of the blood from your hands, but it will always be there, whether you can see it or not. This is horrible. It is good that you think this way. The demon who possessed you, it would not. Listen to me. These feelings you've got right now, the guilt, the anger, hold on to that. It means you're human. You'll need that going forward. Speaking of going... Yeah, we need to scoot. Did you put up a veil, Mandana? I did, and it will confuse the police long enough for us to get away, but we should not tarry. Fresh air at last. A padlock. Of course. Can you pry it off? I am tired, Eli. My strength ebbed hours ago. Perhaps he can help us. Could you find something to pry this off? Yeah, anything big or heavy should do. You've got to be kidding me. This place, much has changed. Creature, who are you and what is your purpose here? Purpose? You invited me. You're mistaken. I was summoned across the void by you. I say again, you are mistaken. You know I speak the truth. I know what you are, Jin Child. I know you cannot speak false. Nevertheless, a beacon appeared. A path was formed. Hi! I... Nobody here has done such a thing. Um, that might not be entirely true. Eli? On the roof, I used a lot of power. Probably enough to call the attention of, well, something like this. Neophyte mage. Playing with forces you don't understand. I'm mage enough to burn you into a greasy smudge. You lie. I know a falsehood when I hear one. 
I can smell your power, Mageling. You have not left. You are nearly spent. And you, Jin Child, are so fatigued you can barely stand. That may be true, but stand we shall. Since we're being so honest with each other, you don't look too healthy yourself. The journey here was long and difficult. I used much of my energy getting here. Ah, so you're just as tired as we are. That's called a stalemate, friend. I do not wish to fight. I have no quarrel with either of you. That was creatively done. Um, yeah. Nice work. Someone had to do something you guys obviously weren't. Look, pal. Under most circumstances, I would have been happy to burn that guy to a crisp. But my magic's tapped out. I used it all up saving you. And he returned the favor. To both of us. <sighs> Such agony. What manner of pain is this? About 10,000 words. It hurts, unlike anything I've ever experienced. Please, I got hit by lightning 20 minutes ago. Don't be such a baby. I... That stench. It can't be. You, a demon spawn on this plane? Are you talking to me? I can sense the corruption within you. Why do you come here to torment me? There is no demon. I got rid of it. You are a fool. The corruption lingers. Creature, you are at our mercy. Return home through the void at once. You know I cannot. I used all my energy to get here. I will not survive the return journey without food. I must feed on human flesh. In this world, nothing else will sustain me. What about the dead bodies inside? What? That's... Ugh. Does the demon spawn speak true? There is meat inside this building? Yes. Yes, there is. Slaughtered only hours ago. Fresh meat. That is perfect. Let me consume my fill, and I will leave you in peace. I... I do not think I can do that. It would draw too much attention. The police are bound to notice. Not to mention the victims inside are innocent. They have families. Loved ones. They'll want closure. I am innocent too, Mageling. You summoned me. I merely answered. Would you kill me just for that? It speaks true, Eli. What is your decision? Wait, you're putting this on me? Yes. I... I'm not the one that has to cut that thing's throat. I can't decide that for you. It was your magic that brought it here. The choice is yours. Let him feed. Yes, it is the most... practical solution. Ugh, I'm gonna be sick. Rise, creature. Eat your fill and be gone. Are you finished? Please, please, please be finished. Yes. I believe I can make the return journey and survive. Thanks be to you, Jin Child. Mage. Demon Spawn. I shan't trouble you again. It is done. It is over. Thank God. Let's get out of here. All in all, this was eventful. Yeah, eventful. We did fine work this night. We all did. Agreed. You showed immense fortitude, especially for one in your... situation. That's me. Full of fortitude. Humor. Good. You will need that. Listen closely to me. One year has passed since your possession. You were wanted by the police for many violent crimes. I'm sorry, but your days as a cop are over. Indeed. Although you can serve in another way. 
The demon that infested you? That creature we just defeated? Mere taste of what is out there. And they just keep coming. We need manpower. Look, you saw us in action tonight. It's obvious we need all the help we could get. Just as it is obvious your old life is gone. But we can help. We can give you a new identity. A new life. A new purpose. Normally there's a vetting process, but you've more than proved yourself tonight. So, what say you? Will you join us? Got me in, boys. Thank God. Some new blood at last. Uh, sorry. That sounded much less creepy in my head. We are all tired. We can find suitable sleeping arrangements back at our headquarters. Sleeping sounds great. By the way, my name's Eli. This is Mandana. Welcome to the Unavowed, my friend. Trust me, your life will never be the same. Do not even consider it. You are awake. Did you sleep well? This astonishes you, after all you experienced. I suppose I should have seen this coming. Introduction to the supernatural world can often have unpredictable effects on the mundane mind. It may take some time for you to process it all came out of a bottle and I'm not freaking out. I am processing it. Okay. I believe you might be right. Especially if last night is any indication. I think you are going to make this transition just fine. And this is good, because there is so little time to waste. My father Kalash is waiting to speak to you in the room beyond the red drapes. When you are ready, seek him out. In the meantime, relax and explore the facility. I will be here if you have any questions. Don't surprise a fire mage like that. <laughs> Bad idea. Anyway, hi. You settling in okay? You're throwing fire? You noticed. Yeah, I like to do this in my spare time. Keeps me sharp. But seriously, it took me a while to get used to this stuff. It's not gonna happen for you overnight. But you'll get there. Faster than you think. Anyway, I'm sure you want to walk around. I'll be here if you have any questions. I don't see why not. A photo appeared on my wall. Do you know how it got there? Huh, you too, huh? Wasn't long after I joined up that my first photo appeared. Scared the hell out of me. It's something to do with this building. It wants you to remember who you are, who you were. Don't think about it too hard. I've been here 50 years and I still don't know how it works. I'll leave you to it. Right. See you around. Hmm? Oh. You're the new one, aren't you? You're blue. No, I am Kalash. I am a Jinn of the Ancient Kingdom, and I run this branch of the Unavowed. And you? You were possessed. How'd you let that happen? I didn't exactly let it happen. You picked up that book, didn't you? Exercise that precious free will of yours? Yes, as I thought. <laughs> In my day, even a newborn babe had wits enough to leave books of demonic evil alone. Mundanes today don't know they're born. The world has gotten soft, needs toughening up. How tough are you, new boy? I'm a cop. I'm trying to put my life on the line if I have to. I've read your service record. Adequate, but not exemplary. No, no. You have yet to experience your true crucible, but it will come. Oh yes, it will come. At any rate, we have much to discuss and much to do. Settle in. 
Talk to the others. Get the lay of the land. I will call our meeting when you are ready. Mm, I'm hmm? ready. What is it? You ready to start the meeting? Call the meeting. Indeed. The time for waiting is past. Father, you met our latest recruit? Yes. I admit he doesn't look like much, but we'll see what this life makes of him. We were all neophytes once, Kalash. Most of us, Mage Beckett. Most of us. I have read the reports on your last mission. Mage Beckett, is it true you summoned a Void creature? Yes, by accident, I swear. Irrelevant. Magic is unpredictable. I understand this. What I don't understand is why you let it feed on human corpses. What will the mundane authorities think when they find tooth marks on the victims, hmm? The creature was both a danger and an innocent. We reached a compromise. That is all. We'll be the ones compromised if the two of you aren't more careful. Don't blame them. It was my idea. That may be, but you had no authority over them. It was their choice to make. Father, regardless of our choices, the Void Creature is gone. We have a more pressing concern. Yes, you let the demon escape. Your mission was a failure. Wait, the demon's still out there? Yes, just waiting to find another hapless victim. No disrespect. Sir, he was a big help. Help you would not have needed if you achieved your primary goal. I almost did. I was so close. I had it contained, but it was stronger than I expected. I see. This is becoming distressingly commonplace. Nevertheless, Eli speaks the truth. We underestimated the threat. Then that will have to be sufficient. And now to the next item at hand. Your next mission. Alright, my first mission. You are correct in more ways than you can imagine. I have detected void activity in the East Village, somewhere close to Aster Place. You are to travel there, determine the cause of the disturbance, and neutralize it. Are you sure he's ready to go out into the field so soon? These are dangerous times. Dark forces are coming. We don't have the time for traditional training. If he isn't able to handle it immediately, we might as well kill him now. Trial by fire, sink or swim, do or die. You want to prove yourself to the unavowed, new boy? Now is your chance. Meeting adjourned. Well, I guess that settles that. I guess we should get going. Yes, as soon as possible. <sighs> and I really hoped I could take the day off. Anyway, we're ready when you are. Yeah. Looks like the K train is down again. That's the place. Hmm. Still raining. At least nothing's here. You seem troubled. Is something the matter? There's a cop there. I'm a wanted criminal. So there is. But you have nothing to fear from him. Not with the veil in place. Veil? What veil? Yeah. It became active when you signed up with us. It just disguises your identity. Anyone looking at you sees slightly different features. You are not the first new recruit to arrive with complications in the mundane world. The veil prevents awkwardness all around. I suppose that makes sense. Better safe than sorry. Just think of it as a perk of membership. In a sense. The veil only works on mundanes. Supernatural beings and the void touch can see through it easily. But that law enforcement officer? He will pose no threat. Thanks. Let's keep going. Very good. Let us proceed. Evening, sir. What happened to you? Who wants to know? I'm a fellow cop, like you. You're Midtown South Present, right? I recognize the badge number prefix. Hmm. Maybe you are, maybe you aren't. 
It's been in the news, but I don't blame you if you don't read that stuff. I'll tell you one thing. You see a lot of bad people in this line of work, but it takes a special kind of nasty to torch a homeless shelter. That should was That's awesome. how we're treating it. Until we know otherwise, we're treating it like a crime scene. Which means, stay back. I'd better get going. I don't blame you. See ya. Hey, are you alright? You look a little... Where are you taking me? This building is a safe place. I'll do whatever you want. Just help me. Please. Follow me in here. Did you see that? I did. Neuromorphic projection. I've read the theories, but never thought. I think he's coming out of it. Are you alright? Uh, what just happened? You blacked out. Just for a minute, but... You had a vision. We saw it as well. A vision from your past. Well, your demon's past, technically. This area must have kick-started your brain into remembering. There was some psychic spillover. We could see it too. Spillover? Yeah. Psychic runoff. Try not to think about it too hard. This building the demon entered. It used to house the village eye. The newspaper? Didn't it go out of business a few years ago? Indeed it did. What was your demon self doing here? Uh, let's get in and find out. Agreed. We are wasting time. Right. Enough jabbering. Let's go. <sighs> well that just figures, doesn't it? It is done. Be aware that if law enforcement questions me, I am compelled to tell the truth. <clears throat> it smells very... human in here. Looks like people were squatting here. Half a dozen at least. Wasn't there a homeless shelter around the corner? Why live here? It could be pride. Or perhaps they gathered here for a specific purpose. Huh. Only one bed in here. Yes. This room was designated to separate one individual from the rest. Someone of importance, most likely. Or someone undesirable. So this room either belonged to a cult leader or a prisoner? Most likely. What have you got there? An old fuse? Seems to still be intact. I might not know a lot about those things, but don't they need electricity to work? I don't think the power's on in this place. What's that, uh... Do not be alarmed. That was just a lost spirit. What you would call a ghost. They are harmless. A ghost? You are serious? Yeah, but don't worry. They can't really do much. They have no physical form. We cannot interact with them, nor they with us. It is best to leave them be. Right, so ghost is six. Let's do it. Good. You adjust quickly. Death is part of the mundane world. We do not get involved. Let us move forward. I'm fine. I tripped over... I have no idea. Can't see a damn thing. That's weird. Come on! Is there a problem? The darkness. It's fighting the light. It always does. I'm being literal. Whatever's down here, it's interfering with my magic. Not sure what you're trying to do there. The fuse is obviously blown. me gobsmacked. It's a forest. A forest in a basement. 
Well, that explains why my fire's so weak down here. Probably a natural defense mechanism for whatever this is. Well, this just got a lot more complicated. Male. Early to mid-sixties, I believe. The cause of death is difficult to determine. He's got vines growing out of him. Look, there are wands along his neck. You are correct. Blade wounds. They are difficult to see with all this growth in the way. You have a good eye. So this guy was murdered... by a person? It appears so. What could do this? I cannot say, but I believe the answer lies with you. Your vision. You were familiar with this building. Whatever happened here, you were involved. Or at least your demon self was. You don't remember anything. No other visions spring to mind. I think I would have remembered this. Yeah, you probably would. No doubt your demon covered its tracks well before leaving your mind. So, who is he? He has no distinguishing marks. He carries no identification. Whoever this is, it remains a mystery. Um, hi? It is a lost spirit. It cannot communicate. Are you sure about that? It does appear... agitated. Let us leave it be. Hello. No response. I am not surprised. Can you hear me? Speaking to a lost spirit is futile. Could I ask you a few questions? It's not responding. Pretty normal. For a ghost, anyway. Never mind. Do these drawings on the wall mean anything to you, Mandana? I cannot decipher their meaning. This picture is of you, isn't it? Where... where did you get that? We're trying to learn what happened at the Village Eye. The Village Eye? I know what you're talking about. That is an obvious lie. Do I look like I care? Just leave me alone. I might not look it, but I'm fine. Tell everyone that Wendy is fine. You don't need to come out here and... Wait, it's you, isn't it? You've come back. Sure, Wendy, yeah, I've come back. I knew it. You're the master. Uh, yes, I'm the master. Don't know why you sound so surprised. You've done something to your face. You've changed it somehow, but I can tell. It's you. Curious. She can see past the veil. She must be void touched. What touched? Void touched. It means. I don't give a crap what it means. And I don't give a crap about you either, master. Just leave me alone. I already know you're good at that. Could you tell me what happened at the village eye building? Why should I? Uh, you seem really troubled. Telling me might help you feel better. Right. And I'll bear my soul to you because you obviously care so much. You left us. You don't care about anything. So get out of here. Take your new followers and go. Wait, followers? You heard me. You said I left you. What do you mean by that? What do I mean? You left. Left us to fend for ourselves, and it all went to shit. Me, I'm back where I started. Others weren't so lucky. I lost my memory. I don't remember anything about you or anyone else. You... what? You're serious, aren't you? You didn't just leave us. You forgot about us. It's a bit more complicated than that, but yes. We are trying to piece together what happened. Can you help us? No, it's done. It's over. If you've forgotten about it, then maybe I can too. Just leave me alone. We 
found the dead body in the basement of the village I'm building. You can't prove a damn thing. I mean, whatever. Don't know a thing about it. Who is the guy in the picture with you? You really don't remember anything, do you? You've even forgotten Jordan, your precious protege. Well, he's gone, no thanks to you. Could you tell me about Jordan? He and I were a, a thing, kind of. I, I don't know. We're nothing anymore. He's gone. He left soon after you. He's probably dead. Not that you care. The basement of the village is our forest. That, that's crazy. You're crazy. Others? What others? You never cared, did you? All that time. I knew it. I just didn't want to believe it. I'll leave you alone. Please, don't come back. Just so we are clear, we are not calling you master. I'm okay with that. This wall drawing means nothing to me, Eli? Entry 1. Master says I should start this journal explaining who I am and how I got here. My name is Jordan. Three months ago I was fired from my job at the crappy electronics store. Two weeks ago my landlord evicted me because I couldn't pay the rent. I was on the street. In the middle of this brutal winter, the homeless shelter was completely full. I thought I was going to freeze to death. Master found me. He brought me here. He gave me clothes and warm food and this laptop. He insists I keep a journal of my experience here. He also says I should call him master. That's fine. I don't care. I am safe here and I am not leaving. Heck, if it keeps me alive, I call him God. The master brought a few more people in. They are all homeless like me. They are all sick. This old guy has lung cancer. So bad he is covering up blood. There's this girl named Wendy, who looks to be in the incredible pain. Me? I am still cold. It's so hard for me to get warm, but at least I am not dying. Entry 3. Master brought us downstairs. There's a tree growing up through the floor. A tree! Master said that it is an altar of life, and it will protect us and heal us if we do the same. He will teach us how. All we have to do is let him cut us, and we bleed on the altar. Entry 4. Oh my god, the energy. Oh man, it's incredible. I'm warm. I'm warm. So warm. It feels so good. Entry 5. I have never felt this good. The cold has completely left my body. The old guy's cough is gone. He's even breathing normally and Wendy is walking around without any pain. Brace the master. Entry 6. There are seven of us now. Master has been cutting us every few weeks. It seems crazy, but we heal up right away and we are healthy. That's the important thing. Praise the master. I would be dead if it wasn't for him. We all would. Entry 7. Merry Christmas. The tree is growing. There's grass on the floor of the basement. It's concrete. With the master, anything is possible. And create. The master needs to leave for a while, and now I'm being put in charge. Me, in charge. And so honored. Maybe I should password protect this laptop, since I'm so important now. Entry 9. It's nice having my privacy, but it's kind of lonely in here. I asked Wendy if she would stay the night with me. She said yes. Entry 10. I cut the old guy. He bled like crazy. He didn't heal. I had to run out of four bandages. Thank god he's okay. Entry 11. It's freezing in here. I turned the radiator up. Full blast. It does nothing. Entry 12. Wendy is limping. The old guy is coughing. I can't stop shivering. The ritual doesn't work anymore. Master, where are you? You've been gone for almost two months. Entry 13. Can barely feel the keys. Hands are numb. I can't help these people anymore. I can't help myself. Entry 14. I have to leave. 
I'm sorry, master. I can't do it. Putting Wendy in charge. I'm sorry. Blood rituals used for healing. That is perverse and wrong. It may be wrong, but it does explain the forest downstairs. It's unspent life energy. It created excess life. Beauty can hide all manner of evil, Eli. You know this more than anyone. I sense a star here, Eli. Oh, it's uh, nothing. <laughs> Just a little run-in with a golem and a succubus that got a... A uh, story for another time? Right. <clears throat> Blood rituals, dark magic, bad stuff. Yes, Eli. Bad stuff. If I understand that journal right, the ritual stopped working when the, uh, <clears throat> master left. Which means that only you, or rather your demon, could perform it. Then why leave Jordan in charge? That's a good question. One more reason to track it down. In the meantime, I really want to know more about this ritual. Let's get to it. After you? Jordan's journal. Shit. I knew I should have tossed that computer. Well, the cat's out of the bag now. You proud of yourself, master? I wasn't the one who was doing blood bridge. Like hell you weren't. You were the one who taught us. You took us all in. You saved us, I guess. Maybe. Every month you'd do the ritual. You'd cut one of us. We'd bleed on the altar. Then you'd say those words and we'd heal. Better, stronger faster than before. It was like a drug. Life energy. That's what you were being fed. That explains the wildlife in the basement. It must be residual life magic. Whatever it was, it felt good. What happened next? It all ended, is what happened. Jordan was so happy when you put him in charge. He tried. He really did. But he just got too sick. Whatever you did to us, the healing... It stopped working when you left. So he put me in charge. Me. And I just made things worse. Why did he put you in charge? He loved me. He trusted me to do the right thing and do right by everyone. I didn't expect I would... That I... I cut with a knife. I said those stupid words again and again and again. It didn't work, so I had to try harder. The murdered man, in the basement. You took the blood ritual too far. It was an accident, I swear! I saw the wounds on the body. That was no accident. Look, we were dying. All of us. A few splashes of blood on the altar wasn't doing the job anymore. So I thought... You thought you would kill an innocent man. It wasn't like that. He was almost dead anyway. He had a few days to live at most. So we thought... Yeah, we killed him. I killed him. I thought that was the end of it, but then... His spirit, it came back. It was horrible. He couldn't stay. Every time it saw us, it would scream. So it drove you out. Yes, and so I came here. I don't want to be around people anymore. You speak the truth. You believe me. Hooray. It is not a matter of belief. I simply know what truth is. Thank you for sharing it with us. There's no point in lying anymore, is there? The master here was just as much involved as me. And something tells me you aren't going to turn him in. Where's that knife now? You think I'm an idiot? I tossed it down a storm drain. What? Why did you do that? Why do you think? It's probably halfway to Jersey by now, and good riddance. You said you needed healing. What was wrong with you? Cerebral palsy on my left side. It was bad before. I could barely handle sewer duty. It's much worse now. Sewer you duty. seriously don't remember? The pipes in the building leaked. Overflow from the sewer. It was disgusting. You couldn't exactly call a plumber, so you made us go into the sewer and drain it from there. Being down there so much, Jordan had to swipe a key to the control panel. Where's the key to the sewer control panel? 
You serious? You never wanted to bother with that before. But whatever. It's to the right of the control panel, behind one of the pipes. We're going to fix this, don't worry. Don't do me any favors. This mess is yours, master. Do whatever you like. Goodbye, Wendy, and good luck. If I was lucky, I never would have met you in the first place. She threw the knife down a storm drain. Damn it. I can't blame her, but damn it. Magically imbued tools take weeks to make. I really hope to study it. Are you lifting with your knees? Yes. Bracing. Fortuitous that I have kept up my training. At least the rain is washing away. Be careful. The heat in this room is kind of off the scale. Eli Becker. Mage, accountant, and plumber. And sometimes all three. Huh. Looks like Wendy was right. What the hell are you? Wait... Master? Master! Master, is that you? Maybe I was once, but I'm not anymore. No, you just can't leave me! Not again! Not yet! Please! I know! I failed you! I couldn't leave them! I was too weak! I tried! I tried so hard! But it was just... too much! You're Jordan, aren't you? I... I was, yes. But I'm not sure who I am anymore. Do you remember, Master? How you found me? Frozen half to death on the street? I almost died. You saved me. You healed me. Brought me back from certain death. I remember. I... Master. Your eyes, your voice, is different. You really don't remember, do you? You were so kind. You showed me how to heal. We were going to heal the entire city. But I couldn't do it without you. When you left, the power left too. The chill, the cold, it came back. I couldn't stop it. It just got worse and worse. I couldn't heal myself, let alone anyone else, so I left. I had to find something, anything, that could help me get warm again. It, um, looks like you found it. I know! You warned me that that spell was dangerous. I didn't listen. But I was so desperate. I was freezing to death. The bed in that homeless shelter wasn't warm enough. You taught me a spell that would let warmth into my heart. So I spoke it. Then, this happened! You were inside the homeless shelter when you cast the spell? Yes. They were the only ones who would take me in. No, you misunderstand. The shelter, it burned to the ground. Was... was anyone hurt? Let's focus on helping you for now. Do you really think I can be helped? I don't deserve it. I know I don't, but if there's any chance, help me before I hurt anyone else. Ask some questions first. Anything you want. The knife was tossed down here. Have you seen it? The knife? You mean your knife? Yes, I saw it fall down here. I took it. I hid it. Just in case you ever came back. Could you get it for us? I'd love to study it. I suppose. After you help me? You spoke to Wendy. I didn't want to leave them. Wendy, least of all. She leads them now. 
She's keeping them all safe. When you kill someone on the altar. She she what? Why would she do that? Standard escalation. More blood, more power. I want this to end. Please just let it all end. Lila, can you do anything to help her? I've been trying, but the fire is different. It's self-generating, self-sustaining. Even submerging himself in water couldn't snuff him out. I've never seen anything like it. I need to know more about his condition before I can even attempt a cure. Master, this is all too much. I served you, faithfully. Then you left when I needed you the most. How do I know you won't leave again? Cure me, help me. Do that and I will get the knife for you gladly. Goodbye, Jordan. We'll be back. Thank you, Master. Poor guy. He played with powerful magic he had no business using. He hurt dozens of innocents. He was dead. Evening, sir. Is there a chance I could take a look around back there? Um, no. In case it wasn't clear, this is a crime scene, which means stay back. You need to let me back there. Oh, really? Give me one reason. Because I'm a detective with the NYPD. So you are. You're with the Staten Island Precinct? What brings you out here? That's classified. Figures. Nobody ever tells me anything. So you want to inspect the scene, huh? I'm just here to look around. Alright, if you say so. The site's all yours, sir. Interesting. That officer believed in your authority without question. He was a cop. It's in his voice, his stance. He can't exactly fake that. That is not in dispute. You certainly have a gift for command. We will discuss this later. Let us find what we came for. Is something the matter? The slugger's caught us eyes. That is odd, to say the least. How is this possible? This building was on fire not too long ago. I know. Bizarre contradiction, isn't it? That's magic for you. So you believe this is magic related? Are people still saying, duh? Because, well, duh. Come on, melt! Is everything alright? Everything's fine. It's just something inside is fighting back. There! Nicely done. That's me, Eli Beckett, enemy of ice. Well, that's definitely our cold source, alright. Now that it's out of the open air, the warm rain is coming down. I should be able to... Jesus! Look at that. Not a burn mark on him. The ice protected him from the fire? It also froze him to death, but... If you want to get technical, sure. It protected him from the fire. What could case something like this? Well, I might be going out on a limb here, but I'm gonna say magic. Indeed. This cold is not natural. Neither is the smell. Ugh. We should get that police officer. Oh, sure. Great idea. A great idea. For a later time. Yeah. Say, after we're gone? An excellent plan. Does this body look familiar to you? Uh, maybe. It's hard to tell, you know, with all the frostbite and things. I admit, he does look slightly recognizable. But as to whom, I cannot say. Holy crap, it's John. 
Yes, I'm as surprised as you are. The quality of that photo isn't so great, but it's definitely the same guy. The evidence is undeniable. Jordan sought a way to remove the cold invading his body. It appears he failed. But how? He already told us. He cast a spell. A foolish, foolish spell. His soul transmuted, escaped his body, and became something else. He is alive, just no longer human. He's become a fire elemental, a spirit bound to a body of flame. Can we reverse it? No, no he can't. And even if we could, his human body is dead. There's nothing for him to go back to. Regardless, we cannot allow a fire elemental to run loose in the city sewers. Let's go back and ask him nicely to leave, I guess. Stranger things have happened. But yeah, talking it over is the way to go. We should hear Jordan out before deciding anything anyway. Right, let's go. Hope you found everything you needed, sir. Uh. Evening, sir. We want to let you know we found the body in the rubble. You're kidding. <sighs> it just never gets easier, does it? Alright, I'll take it from here. You report to your boss and I'll report to mine. Hopefully we'll catch this guy one way or another. I put in a good word for you. Oh, thank you, sir. I'd appreciate that. Eli, you are scratching the buttons of your coat again. With your fingernail. Master? We went to the shelter, Jordan. You did? What did you find? Mm, your corpse. My what? I'm dead? No, uh, not exactly. You're a fire elemental now. You're alive, you're just in a new body. A body made of flame. That's why the flames are self-sustaining. You aren't on fire, you are fire. So there's no cure? Oh, um, no. Your human body is dead. There's no getting around that. But you're kind of immortal now. That's something, isn't it? You mean I have to live like this forever? Um, yeah. You should have left me in the cold, Master! You should have left me to die! So, about that knife, Jordan? No! You said you'd help me! I don't care if I'm dead! There has to be a way to end this! Well, we do have one option. I'm a fire mage. I can control and channel fire. Given enough time, I can... Remove the fire from your spirit. Eli, what you are proposing... Will be incredibly painful, I know. Painful?! It will feel like being skinned alive. But it will kill me?! Eventually. Then I'll do it! I'm sorry, John. Do not be sorry yet. I will not allow you to do this. Not when there is another way. Another way?! There are others of your kind. Fire elementals. A whole world of them. Yeah, in another dimension, across the void. How do you propose to get him there? Jordan is a creature of spirit now, which means he can traverse the void. I can lend him the energy required, and show him how to open the way. So he can, what, spend eternity with fire people? Wait, eternity? It is a one-way trip, Jordan. Life there will not be easy. But perhaps you can find a home there. A life. But what kind of life would that be? One that continues. I... I can't! This is all too much! Master, I know you've done your best! Whatever you decide, I will do. Sure. On an alien world. In an alien dimension. All alone. There will be others of his kind. In time, they might accept him. And if they don't, they'll be stuck there forever. So the alternative is to murder him? It's mercy. If I was in his shoes, I'd want the same. 
But you are not in his shoes. You cannot make that choice for him. You should go across the wire and to be happy can you. Yes! Yes! Yes, Master, you were right! Maybe this is what was meant to be! Maybe you saved me that night for this very reason! Maybe I have some purpose to fulfill in this new dimension! Okay, I am ready! You two should wait above ground. I will help him transfer across the void. I guess he's on his way by now. Off to his new life. Assuming you can call it life. You think we did the right thing? He's a chance out there. More than he would here. A chance is better than nothing? Maybe. But to live through eternity without seeing another human being? I couldn't take it. I know that much. It might be nice to live in another world. I've seen pictures of fire dimensions. They look like hell. Literally. I know what I am. I'm not entirely normal, but I know that I'm human. I know that I'm me. If I lose that, then I lose everything. So, is he... Yes, he has gone through the void. Is he okay? I believe he will be. Eventually. Only time will tell. He did retrieve the ritual knife for me before he left. Well, that's something. I'll study it back at the lab. I know the routine. I shall call ahead and have pizza delivered. It's like you read my mind. Good. You are awake. I was hoping to talk to you. Is it about our last miss last night? Yes. And... No. You have completed your first field mission. You must have... thoughts. I am curious as to what they are. What are you feeling at the moment? You do important work. I can't see that now. Yes. Our work is important. Of that there is no doubt. For some of us the unavowed is a calling. For others, a duty. But for you, I have seen you in action. I have seen you react under pressure. You were clearly meant for this life. I think you might be right. Do you? Do you really? Your old life, your time as a police officer, prepared you for this. It gave you discipline, authority. The unavowed has become lax in the recent decades. Perhaps you can help us with that. Thank you, I do my best. That is all any of us can hope for. At any rate, I detect no falsehood within you. You spoke the truth to me. Thank you. I will return to my training now. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. I was just reading some old text with Fireside. Right, Fireside. <laughs> of course. Sarcasm received and understood. Sorry. It's a fire magic trick. Let's me read any book that was consumed by flame. It's a bit of a strain on the eyes, but beggars can't be choosers. That's kind of cool. Being a mage has its moments. I won't deny it. Although I can't say the same about this book. It's an old Sumerian text about death magic. Really long, really boring. But I used to read books about S-Corp tax code for fun back when I was an accountant. I can handle boring. Ah well. See you at the meeting. See you at the meeting. Until then. To send you aid would leave our own domains undefended. You know this, Kalash. Undefended against what? Ours is the only domain under attack. Your charter is quite clear. Recruitment is your responsibility. You accuse me of negligence. Just how many agents are currently in your employ? That is precisely the point. We have no agents to spare. I am sorry, Kalash. So am I, Aralax. New York is getting overwhelmed. When that happens, they will come for you. 
Then we must be ready when it comes. I relax out. Major Hanum swallow you whole. Ah, you heard that, did you? He said we were getting overwhelmed. Certainly. No doubt about it. It is no secret that threats have been escalating. I had hopes to appeal for aid and fill up our ranks. Alas, we are on our own. I respect Lady Aralax, but I should have known better. Never ask a dragon for anything. You will always regret it. Mm hmm? Call the meeting. Yes, duty calls. I have appealed once more for aid. It has been rejected. Huh, this is my surprised face. Why do you bother with those cowards, Father? Show some respect. They are correct. Stubborn, but correct. You think they shouldn't send us help? I didn't say that. I said that there are rules, and they are following them. Each branch is responsible for its own defense and recruitment. In this respect, I have been negligent. So have all the branches, Father. A sudden rise in threats would have caught any city unprepared. And where that city? Lucky us. I shall appeal again, rest assured. In the meantime, let us go over last night's events. I think it went really well. That is to be determined. Daughter, I trust you have recuperated from your ordeal with the fire elemental. I have. There do not appear to be any other... ill effects. So you aren't entirely positive? I took all the necessary precautions, but one is never entirely positive. Then I will have to accept that. However, I am deeply concerned that this mundane was able to acquire such a powerful spell in the first place. A demon started the cult. It put Jordan in charge. Yes, but why? Why would a demon do such a thing? Why do demons do anything? To create havoc, obviously. Why else? No. This was too focused. Too targeted. We are not dealing with a mindless spirit, bent on chaos and destruction. This demon had a plan. A purpose. We need to learn what it was. And how we do we do that? Funny you should say that. Ah, I know that look. You did as I asked, Mage Beckett? Yes, I did, sir. And it worked. Well, working. It's not quite done yet. What are you referring to? Oh, the ritual knife. I did a thaumaturgic scan on it. What did you find? Hold on, I'm getting to that. The knife was imbued with a very specific energy signature. Your demon's energy, to be precise. It's connected to you, and you alone. That's why you were the only one who could use it properly. Which means we can track it. Great, let's get... Let's go get it. I, yeah, about that. The demon's out of your body now. Its energy signature has changed. I can only track where it's been when it was in your body. So, is that useful? Any information is useful, sooner or later. But in this case, it's sooner. It was all over the map. I'm trying to narrow it down to the areas of greatest activity, but it's slow going. So far, the scan's got you pegged in two places. The Bronx, around Gun Hill Station, and Staten Island, by the ferry terminal. Staten Island? I hope I don't run into anyone from the station. The veil is still in place. You need not worry about that. Very well. Check both areas for void activity, and any sign of the demon. We'll show those idiots on the council what New York is made of. Meeting adjourned. in the edge of your book. I am? Yes. It is quite... aggressive. Sounds judge Chalmer. Fine.
I know that song. Uh, Lowlands Away, isn't it? Yes, an old shanty. Being at sea just reminds me of younger days. Well, don't let me stop you. We could use a bit of cheer on a dreary night like this. <laughs> 